welcome to another edition of Cooler Masters product installation guide. For today's product, we have the Hyper 212. The Hyper 212 has many features as a copper based, four copper heat pipes, aluminum stacked fins for maximum heat dissipation, and we have a 120 millimeter fan to cool down these fins. The Hyper 212 has a universal design for Intel Core 2 Quad, Core 2 Extreme, Core 2 Dual, AMD Athlon 64X2 Dual Core, and AMD Athlon 64FX. Now let's go over the accessories that come with the package. You have your hexagonal screw wrench, LGA775 bracket, AM2 939 bracket, the AM2 939 backing plate, small screws to secure the bracket onto the bottom of the heat sink, the larger screws to secure the backing plate, the nuts, anti-vibration soft pads, and the plastic noise dampener. For this installation we are using an AM2 motherboard. So the first thing you want to do is peel off the warning label. The next step Acquire your AM2 bracket. Next, get the large screws, place them in the corresponding screw holes, and remember they screw in counterclockwise. Now that the four screws are on the mounting bracket, the next step is to place your mounting bracket onto the bottom of the heat sink like that. Acquire the smaller screws to secure the bracket down to your heat sink. Once the mounting bracket is mounted onto your heat sink, you can move along to the thermal paste. To mount your thermal paste, just put a dab of thermal paste in the center and to apply it evenly, you can use a business card or any material that allows you to spread it out evenly. Now that we have mounted the anti-vibration soft pads, we can mount the cooler on top of the CPU. Make sure you align it with the holes, place it down, and now we can get ready to flip the motherboard around. Now that the motherboard is turned around, we can begin to secure the heatsink onto the motherboard. To do so, you have two options. You can use the plastic washers, place them like that. Use the nut to secure it like that, or you can use the AM2 backing plate. When you place it on like that, acquire the nut, put on the screw, and tighten it with your hand first. And then do the opposite corner and tighten it with your hand. And then do the next corner. and the next. Once they are hand tight, you can use your hexagonal wrench to tighten them down properly. When tightening the screws, make sure you work from one corner to the next. Now that the heat sink is fully mounted onto your motherboard, you can begin to plug it in. Once it's plugged in, you have finished the installation process and you can start mounting your motherboard inside your chassis. Thank you for watching our Cooler Master video installation guide. To see more videos, please visit us at www.coolermaster.com.